Hi, everybody. So we are now done with body systems and we're going to be turning our attention to an entirely different topic. We're going to be talking about how cells divide. And there's two types of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. And this is how we reproduce asexually or sexually. Um, organisms use cell reproduction or cell division. So we're going to talk about the purposes today and then move on toward um, talking about how this happens. Um, in later videos. All right, so the purposes of cell division. I mean, the first is when you were first created, um, there was a sperm and there was an egg and the sperm and the egg came together and fused, right? At that moment, you had all the genetic information that is you. A hundred percent of who you were was destined at that moment when the sperm carrying its genes and the egg carrying its genes fused. That was selected at that moment who you were going to be. But you were one cell big. That was your entire body, one cell. We call it a zygote at that point. That one cell has grown into all of the cells that make you up now. And every one of those cells is identical genetically to the original, with some exceptions we'll talk about later. So going from one cell big, a zygote, to a full organism of all identical cells is growth. You grow by adding cells. And to do that, you have to make identical cells. And that's going to be a large part of what we're talking about here. So growth is a big reason. <clears throat> um, and and um, you can also have growth of new tissue. All right, let's see. So uh, repair. So if you get a cut <clears throat> um, across your hand, there will need to be new cells growing in either direction to meet up in the middle to heal up that wound. And so cell division will happen there. And again, those cells have genetic information that's identical to all the other cells in your body, and they will divide and divide and divide, copying that genetic material to make identical cells in between to repair the cut. And so I'm gonna show you a quick video of an organism that can repair a huge portion of, of their body. Now we, if we lose a little bit of skin, we can grow that back by mitosis, by cell division. But if we lost an entire finger, we couldn't grow that back. But there are organisms that can grow back whole huge portions of their body. This right here is an earthworm that got cut in half and it is growing the back end of its body back. It was cut, hang on, let him just pick it up, it was cut right there and now it's growing that entirely new portion that's hanging off the end there um, and you can see this is the old earthworm this is the old earthworm and that's the little teeny bit that's growing and it's doing it by cell division it's making new cells identical to all the ones here by mitosis and we'll talk about how that identical part happens later but that's going to be really important to keep track of okay so we have growing. You go from one cell big to millions by adding more cells by mitosis. You repair tissue. We can only repair a little bit, but some organisms can regenerate huge portions. Um, starfish can do the same thing. I guess they're supposed to be called sea stars, technically. So sea stars can grow back an entire um, arm. As long as they've got the central portion, they can do that. <clears throat> okay. Um, we also have asexual reproduction. Now, when we reproduce, we have a sperm and an egg that fuse from two different parents, and we mix and match genes from the two parents. But many, many organisms reproduce asexually. That is, they, all the genes from one parent are passed to the next offspring, and the next offspring has 100% the same genes, and they're identical to the parent for that reason. And they use cell division, mitosis, um, to, to reproduce asexually. And I've got a little clip here. Um, there's a cell that is actually dividing into two. So that was an asexual reproduction. I'll show you one more time. So asexual reproduction, you've got one cell, and it's splitting into two, and now you have two identical offspring. So we have growth, we have repair, we have asexual reproduction. Um, these are paramecia dividing by mitosis. There'll be two daughter cells, the, the original cell disappearing. And then there's um, other kinds of asexual reproduction. Here's a parent of something called a hydra. 
And the hydra is kind of like a jellyfish. It's got uh, tentacles that shoot stinging cells that paralyze their prey. And then they use those tentacles to shove the food down in their belly and digest them alive. Pretty cruel stuff and cool and cruel. Um, so we have the hydra. The hydra is um, actually able to reproduce sexually, but it also can just have a baby growing off the side of it. Can you imagine if a little baby started, cells in your hip started dividing and dividing and dividing, making identical cells into a little baby you, you'd have a little clone growing off the side of you and it would be identical, one parent, one set of genes doing mitosis and it'd be the same as this hydra. This hydra is doing mitosis, making identical cells and has a little baby clone growing off its hip. And when it's old enough, it can snap off and live on its own. And it'll be a little clone. Um, one of the things to keep clear here is that when the cell divides, the parent cell is no longer. It's the single cell is now living on as two daughter cells. Okay, the original cell is called the parent and the two offspring cells are called daughter cells. Um, and so that's the, those are the main reasons for mitosis, for asexual um, cell division. And um, we'll move on to how it is that these cells make identical cells um, next time.